Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam really here. We are the Soul Brothers. What up, guys? How you doing? Oh, um, my God. Harden Lifestyle, or LS, Volume 2. It's not a basketball shoot, technically, but you know we had to do it to him. Yes. Does it ball? Does it basketball? That is the question. Can you use these to ball? So let's get started right off with the track. Shiones. So you have square nubs. Mm -hmm. Rectangular nubs or whatever. And um, they're pretty good. But I, I thought it was going to be very good because it's very squeaky and mm -hmm. seems like it has a good bite. But it reminds me of the Jordan 31. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it seems like it has a crazy bite. And uh, it's very squeaky, which is, it seems good, you know. Yeah. But then it, it like kind of bites and then like slides just a little bit, just like the Jordan Thirty One. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, dust is not the best option. Mm -hmm. So then you know, like when dust is present, it does slide around a good yeah. amount, and you have to wipe a good amount as well. Outdoor use as well does not seem like the best option because it is pretty pliable and pretty soft. Um, the grooves are pretty deep though, so I don't know, I, I didn't really play outdoors in these shoes, but I don't think durability is going to be very good uh, because the rubber is actually pretty soft. So traction was not the best, mm. um, there were some good bites, but then it just seemed inconsistent uh, as well, you know, like sometimes it would bite pretty well, but then also other times, you know, uh, I don't even know if it was dust, but then it just like s slid out just a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, so the traction was was oh, not that good. Right. Now moving on to the cushion, which is a strong point in this shoe, and I think uh, Adidas should move toward this. Uh, they did remove the strobe board, you know, and they replaced it with a net strobe board, which makes it so much more comfortable. Just like not just not only in step and comfort, but you can also feel the boost a lot more. And while you're playing in it, you know, so like it, there's a good amount more compression, uh, impact protection seemed to be better. Um, the thickness and all that seemed to be the same, and it, the only thing is that it loses the uh, lateral caging here um, in the toe area. But I mean, you feel low to the ground, impact protection is insane. There's a slight little you know, compression, so that feels super nice as well. And uh, the cushion setup is just one of the best cushion setups you can get, you yeah. know, and I wish, you know, Adidas would do this in their basketball models, but I, I feel like maybe if you're bigger like Harden, you don't really want that as much. Yeah. So, um, but if you're a lighter dude like me or like just most people, it, it's a nice uh, feeling cushion without that, you know, so important, you know. But anyways, amazing cushion setup. Moving on to the materials, you have lots of knit. You have a lot, you, a lots of premium touches of leather. Hello, premium. Yes, super stretchy knit. It feels amazing. Uh, I love how soft and uh, just how it conforms to your foot, and it's very comfortable to put on and just play in. Uh, support is another issue we'll, we'll get in, that we'll get into, but just uh, materials and just feeling it, it it's, it's amazing. Oh man, you know, some of these leathers are incredibly butter soft. Yes. Um, overall, yeah, they look crazy premium too. Yep. Um, so yeah, materials are really, really nice. Moving on to fit, fits like the Harden Volume 2. Um, slightly narrow, runs just a tiny bit long, but I just went true to size because of the width and just like there's there's absolutely no dead space. True to your Adidas size. Yeah, true to your Adidas just size. Just a half size down. Yes. The normal size. Exactly. And uh, fit was really good for me. Um, if you're wide footer, you should maybe go up, go up half a size. But other than that, yeah, fit for me was really, really good. Uh, moving on to support and lockdown, which was an issue, which is really weird. Um, I thought the boost would contain you, which I, I, it kind of does here in the, the, the heel area. But in the forefoot, lateral containment was so bad. Um, like when I was doing a really hard lateral movement, you can see my whole foot just yeah. you know, freaking go out of the, the, the footbed. When you have a knit like this that's not really held down at all, I mean, it's tough. Uh, you yeah. do have this lateral piece of leather uh, on the lateral side to cage you a little bit, but it's such a soft leather. It doesn't, yeah. It, it doesn't, it's just not enough. Yeah. Um, it's just so weird because like, I thought the, the boost would cage me just a little bit because mm. it, you know the boost does come up yeah. uh, and acts as a sidewall to prevent your foot from sliding out. It's just so weird. 
um, and just the different factors you need, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, I thought this would have been adequate, but no, uh, I guess you need a little bit more supportive upper, or maybe it does come up a little bit more on the hardened volume too, I'm not sure, um, but lateral cadena was so, super bad. Also, the materials are not supportive at all, as you guys can see, because it's super stretchy, and, um, yeah, it, it, it's super stretchy, yeah. so. Uh, supporting the materials was really really bad as well so you know that made it really hard and annoying to do lateral movements crossovers you know step backs and stuff like that so uh, there's that moving on to the weight 12.13 ounces it's a lot lighter than the yes, volume too that's actually like average 12 ounces yeah. you know average to like put on the lighter side of shoes for me in my size does it feel like yeah it feels very light but responsive hell no traction not very good uh and you know lateral you know you're sliding out of the bed you know there's a lot of lag in the shoe while, while, while i was playing so mm -hmm. you know uh responsiveness in the shoe while you're playing is very very bad um uh, also ventilation is super bad very very hot, hot. Oh, yeah. yeah i mean it, the material is a little thick and it's just super warm on your foot yeah. so um, I also did not like that. Uh, durability, I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like the rubber is not very durable uh, for when you're playing, and also the materials don't seem very durable as well. I mean, yeah, they're not super they're supportive. You can yeah. stretching them and blowing them out. I mean, this isn't really a, a basketball shoe, but we're just letting you know if you put some hours in these, you're probably going to be tearing them up. Yes. Uh, moving on to aesthetics, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it looks a little bit better on foot to me. I don't love them, but you know. It's pretty the sexy time, right? Um, so wrapping things up, 160 bucks is pretty damn expensive Ooh. for a basketball shoe. Too much. Um, does it basketball? No, it does not basketball. I mean, the Harden Volume 1 did basketball and did it pretty well. It also, but it also had... You mean the Lifestyle one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, the Lifestyle one. Um, but it also had that you know, lateral containment issue just a little bit, but definitely was not as bad as volume two. Right. So traction, not the best, and support and lateral containment and all that in the upper was horrible, so I do not recommend playing in this shoe. Mm. Um, there was a a girl, a woman, that was playing in this in the WNBA, which I was like, that's mm, pretty interesting. But um, I guess, you know, it, it does work if you're not doing a lot of lateral, lateral movements, like crosses and stuff. What are you just, saying? Women can't do lateral no, movements? No, that's what I'm crosses? saying. I, what uh, I'm saying... That's racist. No, <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> you mean sexist, but um, yeah. So it, it can work if you're doing like just like pull up and jump shots and you know stuff like that and not doing uh, as much lateral movement. Yeah. But... I do a lot of that stuff, so I could not ball in these, and I would not recommend balling in these. So uh, I was kind of surprised. I thought these were going to be freaking nice, but I mean, the cushion and all that is, was really nice, but um, for me, not a great basketball shoe. Mm. Um, but if you want to copy for casual sh uh, casual use, then go ahead and copy because I really, really like these. These are super comfortable. And we will leave a link down in the description box if you do want to copy these, but that's it. That's it. Does it basketball? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Later.